All right, so these are the three categories of signs. So when you see these signs, these are regulatory signs. And you're going to see them in these colors. It's going to be red, white, or black. And they come in the shapes of an octagon, a triangle, or a rectangle. And so these signs, if you see these, these are the law. So you guys have to obey them or else you can get a ticket. So very important when you guys see these on the road. And these are our warning signs and uh, construction area signs. So this is the second, uh, the second category. They need the warning signs. This is going to be yellow or yellow fluorescent. Uh, they're kind of going to come in like diamond shapes, pentagon shapes, or circles. And then construction zones will be orange, and it'll be diamonds or rectangles. So these are more like warning of something that's coming up ahead, regulatory, something that's going on right now. And then these are our guide and informational signs. And then they can be rectangle mostly, and they're going to be like blue, green, or brown. And they show kind of the interstates and um, other information on um, what the roadways are. And so, yeah, so we'll move on. Uh, regulatory signs. Uh, command and regulate the state law, you know, so stop signs, yield signs, uh, speed limit signs. So if you violate any of these, you're going to get a ticket. So really pay attention when you see these signs. And once again, what are the three colors of regulatory signs? Red, black. Right. Red, black, and white. And what are, what are the shapes of regulatory signs? Triangle, rectangle. Yep, octagon, triangle, and rectangle. Hey, Bong, real quick. Uh, for you guys, if you have those signs on your bingo, you can cross those off. Oh, so yes. as you see the signs come through on the PowerPoints, you can cross those off. Can we go back? Yeah, yeah, I can go mm -hmm. back really quick. Including videos or just no, just on the slide. I think that's where we started. Yeah. If you did the video, you'd have a video by now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, anybody know the difference between a stop sign and a yield sign? Stop, you're required to stop. Right. Yield is just be cautious. Right. Be cautious and you may stop if if you're yielding to oncoming traffic. So stop. You're gonna come to a full complete stop and you're gonna feel yourself rock a little bit back and forth. Yield, slow down. Check for traffic and stop if it's necessary. But, yeah. And then for this, so when, you, when you're coming towards this intersection and you see this yield sign, what are you going to do? Uh, slow down, check both lines of traffic and oncoming traffic, and then there's not going to go. Right, right. So, yep. so it's not a stop sign, so you're not necessarily going to stop, but if there is oncoming traffic, you're going to yield and then take your turn. And then, what is, what's the difference between these two railroad crossing signs? Or what will you do at each one? So what are you going to do at this one? You have to kind of look and then go, and how about this one? Stop. Yep, you're going to stop there. Why do you guys think that you're going to yield here, and you're going to stop here? You 
can't see the tracks. Right. Why can't you see? The fence. Right, this fence right here. Okay, so, and over here, the vision's very clear. Your field of vision's very clear, so just kind of look. So, great job. And, you guys ever seen these do not enter signs? Okay. And what do you think is the difference between these two? Have you, have you guys ever seen the wrong way sign? Okay. Where do you usually see, where have you seen this? Does anyone know? Yeah? Like, maybe like a parking lot or something. Uh huh. Okay. And well, what's what's interesting? Well, the thing about these two is typically you'll see a do not enter sign at the entryway where you're not supposed to enter. And if you did happen to enter that way, you're going to see this one coming up right next. So once you see this, stop and turn around as quickly and safely as possible. So, so that's the difference between these two. You're gonna see this first. If you happen to miss that, you're gonna see this. You see this, you know, quickly as possible, just try to turn around quickly. And who knows what this means? What does that mean? Don't do it. And so, this is don't what? Park. Don't park. Don't, turn. don't take a left turn. Don't right turn. take a right turn and don't U-turn. So yeah, anytime you see those, definitely you know, be cautious of that. Um, okay, so speed limit signs. In perfect conditions, speed limits are usually around 50 and minimum of 40. So if the speed limit is 50 and the minimum is 40, can you go 55? No. Is it ever okay to go 55? Does anyone know? If you're passing. If you're passing. So this is the speed limit, right? Remember, these are regulatory signs. And so this is the law. If you go anything over the limit, you can get a ticket. So this is the law. And so you might see people going over, but they are risking getting a ticket. And if you kind of follow the speed that they're going and if it's over, you also run that risk. So. Just make sure you're uh, aware of that. And then the minimum speed is 40, right? So do you know if there's ever a case where you would go less than 40? Yeah. Is it possible? And what, what would that be? Traffic. Traffic? OK. Or traffic is just jammed? OK. Yep. Any any other situations? Or wait, go less than 40? Yeah, if, if you see that there's a minimum speed of 40, is there ever a case where it's okay to go less than the minimum? Probably the weather, right? If it's snowing and roads are really icy, typically cars go a little slower, and that's okay, that's understandable. But in perfect conditions, right, there's no, nothing wrong with the road, then uh, make sure you're not going less than the minimum or higher than uh, the limit. And so we'll play if this video. If traffic is moving at 70 miles per hour, driving at 50 miles per hour is not safe and could cause serious accidents. But what about keeping up with traffic that's traveling faster than the speed limit? I know 